Skelly. Hi. Harvey Peck. Fine. Listen, uh, I was wondering if you made a decision yet on the girl for the part of the bank teller. Yeah. Well, uh, the girl I sent over, Anne Marie, she's... Huh? No, no. No, Marie is her last name. Anne Marie. Yeah. Well, uh, I think it'd be a very smart move if you used her. Well, she's very much in demand. She's, uh, she's new, but she's hot. Oh, yeah. People all over town are asking for her. Boy, where's my waitress? That girl. Turkey hash. Oh, it's delicious. I had it yesterday. Right. I'll take a roast beef on rye and a cup of coffee. Good thinking. Hello? Is it for me? Are you expecting two crates of tomatoes? <laughs> yeah, okay. If you'd like, I can take these out so you can stay and answer the phone. Oh, come on, Charlie. You know this is important. Important? You know what's important? Fresh tuna salad. Crisp lettuce, oatmeal without lumps. That's important. To you, getting this part's important to me. Somewhere. Somewhere there's got to be an actress that wants to be a waitress. I think I'll call him. Why don't you call him? Oh, he doesn't like me to call him. He gets angry when I call him. I better not. He says if there's anything important, he'll call me. He's my agent. I have a perfect right to call him. He's going to be angry anyway, so I might as well call him. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Peck, please. I'll hold. Listen, I hate to do this, but there are some nice people who would like to eat their lunch. Jimmy, will you please hold this for me? Yeah, sure. Thank you. And tell him when he gets on that I'll be right back. And tell him not to be angry. <laughs> there you are. Roast beef sandwich and tuna salad. Oh, miss. Yes, sir. May we have some mustard, please? Mustard. There you are, sir. I'm Oh, that's not my table. Well, oh, that's my mustard. Uh, are you through with the mustard? Not quite. Oh, well, when you are, would you mind giving it back to him? <laughs> he hung up. He was mad? No, he was busy. He said, the second you're done, get over there. Oh, that means I got the part. But why didn't he say so? Because I didn't get the part. What time is it? What time is it, Charlie? You'll be out of here in 30 more hamburgers. Charlie, make them all rare. <laughs> there you are, and thank you very much. Honey! Don't we get dessert? Oh, uh, Jimmy. Go ahead, I'll bring it. Hey, Annie. Hope you get the part. Thanks. <laughs> cheese. Oh, Harvey, did I get the part or didn't I? Mm. Want some all? Good for you. Make you a big star. <laughs> I got it! I got it! I got that part! Oh, Harvey, you're the best agent in the whole wide world. I did get it, didn't I? You got it. They said, tell Anne Marie what's her name. She's got the part. <laughs> that what I <they> said. <laughs> oh, Harvey, a real part. That means somebody's gonna actually pay me for doing what I love. That'll be like stealing. For that part, it'll be petty larceny. <laughs> Uh, Annie. Annie? What's wrong? 
Uh, well, uh, uh, my boss says, uh, and I agree with him. Well, well good. Uh, about what? Uh, about changing your name. Change my name? We discussed that. No, we discussed discussing it. We never really discussed it. Well, I don't want to discuss it. Well, I do. Anne-Marie is a very bad professional name. It sounds incomplete, like you don't have a last name. Nine out of ten people say, Anne-Marie what? Nobody knows your last name. One out of ten people does. And don't be funny when I'm trying to be serious. Well, Harvey, I, I just don't want to talk about it. But why? My father would cry. Cry? Your father cries? Yes, he's a very sensitive man. Every time he hits me, he cries. <laughs> Listen, I gotta represent you, hon, and you got a rotten name for representing. I just got a job, didn't I? Only because I happen to be a genius. Do you know how many times I had to tell the guy Marie is her last name? He thought I was a recording. Oh, Harvey, my parents would not understand. Boy, you sure know how to ruin a day. Hey, lady. I'm the guy who got you your first real acting job. I know, but then before I even had a chance to celebrate, you bought up this whole name business. Well, it's going to be on television for the first time this week. It should be the name you're going to use. You mean I have to decide right now? Well, yeah, that's why we're talking so much, when I could be finishing my lunch. Gosh, I mean, I don't even know how to think of a name. Well, easy. The, the phone book. That's how I got my name. You changed your name? Well, I, uh, I had to for professional reasons. No kidding. What was it before? Grace Kelly. <laughs> No, it's true. I used to call up people and say it was Grace Kelly, and they'd say the actor or the agent. It, uh, it was very confusing. Will you come on? No, Grace had the same problem. That's why she ran off to Europe and married Prince Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> See, it isn't so terrible. Will you at least think about it? Okay, I'll think about it. Listen, I'm going to buy a bottle of champagne and have a celebration. You want to come over tonight? I'd love to, but I'll be working. Ah, uh, did I thank you enough for getting me the part? No, but you don't have to. Just act good. Now get out of here so I can finish my lunch. Okay, bye. And thanks, Grace. There you are, so one dollar and ninety cents. That only leaves ten cents for your tip. Wish it could be more, but that wipes me out. Sorry. Sorry? Instead of champagne, you should have bought cream soda. <laughs> I guess not everybody cares. Oh, sorry. Mr. Cochran, when I left you this morning, what was I? Ten minutes late. <laughs> right. Well, I left a waitress and I returned... The drunk. Oh, an actress. I got a part. Congratulations. What time's the party? Seven o'clock. And if you come, bring your own glass. What it looks good. We better drink it fast before the bubbles disappear. Oh, no, the bubbles last for hours. Not a 2.98 a bottle. <laughs> Don, you make the toast. Okay. Sweetheart. No, not a love toast. A show business toast. I'll make it. I'll save the love toast till later. Okay. Now, this may have been said before, but, well, here goes. To Anne Marie, may your name be in lights. Forever. It's been said before. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Great. Great. Listen, about my name. Do you think it's a good name for an actress? What do you mean? Well, my agent thinks I should change it. Oh, a stage name. Like Cary Grant is really Archibald Leash. He is? Sure. You ought to read some of those magazines you have in your waiting room. Wait, wait a minute, Judy. And you want to change your name? Well, I can see the advantage to it sometimes, and my agent says it's very important. Well, honey, I don't see anything wrong with having a stage name. Well, I don't either. But I'm really thinking about my parents. Oh, they have to change their name, too? <laughs> <laughs> it's just that my father takes great pride in the family, and he won't like it. Well, did you ask him? I'm almost afraid to. Well, listen, before you do, I suggest you pick the name you're going to use. Why? He may surprise you and like it. Well, I doubt that. Come on, let's think of a name now. It'll be fun. Yeah, I have to think up names for my patients all the time. How about, uh, Melody? Melody? Melody what? Oh, gee, I never have to think up a last name. <laughs> the mothers always come in with those. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first name may be enough. Because when I tell my father what I have in mind, my last name may be Mud. Melody Mud is nice. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see now, Stella. How the 
did those Hollywood actors and actresses come up with all those famous names? How about Fida Barra? <laughs> well, it hasn't been used in a long time. You wouldn't think it'd be this hard. I haven't even come up with any good first names yet. Ben Casey. There was a nurse on the Ben Casey show with a great name. Now, what was it? Wait a second. Wait a second. I think I got it. If you do, I'll give you a kiss. All right, then pucker up. It's not only a great name, but it's one your father may like. What is it? Okay, then listen to this. Marie Brewster. Marie Brewster. Well, it's not bad, but it's hardly worth a kiss. Now, why would her father like it? Why would my father like it? Well, well, because you come from Brewster, and your last name is Marie. Right. right. So we'd use my last name as my first name, and the name of my hometown as my last name. Right. Now, that's clever. Marie Brewster. I like it. And I think you might be right about my father. Okay, how about my kiss? Right after I call home and try it out. Well, well, wait a minute. Under the circumstances, could I have it in advance? Are you going to call your father now? Not on your life. It's his lodge night. I'm going to call my mother first and try it out on her. Okay. I'll wait for the kiss. <laughs> Hello, Mom. Anne. Uh, is Daddy home? Oh, that's right. I forgot. Uh, uh, Mom. Oh, no. Nothing special. Well, there is one thing. I'm coming up Saturday. <laughs> right. Listen, Mom, wait. Uh, what do you think of the name Marie Brewster? Please, sir. I told you before, we don't allow strange men upstairs. I'm not a strange man. I'm a father. <laughs> One more, I'll need a bigger apartment. You really have got to learn to pass up a fail. Come in, but watch it. I'm watching. Daddy. Good. You remembered. Uh, uh, Daddy, this is my friend, Judy. Hi, Mr. Marie. We've talked on the phone, remember? Yes. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Uh, you know, Judy's from next door. She's married to Leon, the obstetrician. He's a doctor. Good. All obstetricians should be doctors. Oh. Well, I guess I'd better go and give my obstet doctor husband uh, breakfast, uh, lunch. Uh, it was really nice meeting you, Mr. Marie. Again, a pleasure. Well, Daddy, come on in. How? <laughs> That's funny. You know Mom said never store sweaters dirty. I'll just... Uh... Don't bother. I have only one sentence. Oh, Pop, come on in. I'll make you something. You must be hungry. How could I be hungry? Since midnight, I've been eating my heart out. Daddy, will you come on in? I can say what I have to say right here, short and sweet. I don't want you to change your name, period. Sure, Daddy. I understand. Uh, just come in and we'll discuss it. There is nothing to discuss. Well, that's a heck of a... Look, Daddy, Father, I am not a child anymore. We had that discussion when you picked yourself up and left home, Miss Independence. Did you at least hear the name? It's still ringing in my ears. You see, I'd use our last name for my first name and the name of our hometown for my last name. I like your last name as your last name and your first name as your first name. And the town can take care of itself. Daddy, I love my real name. It's just not a very good name for an actress. We didn't name an actress. We named a daughter. Wait a second. What's the name of your restaurant? Why? Are you planning to change that, too? You don't call it Lou Marie's. No. You call it the Parisienne. Why? Because the Parisienne is a better name for a French restaurant. So? So? Marie Brewster's a better name for an actress. See, it's really the same thing with me and the restaurant. A restaurant does not have a father or a mother who cried all night. Oh, Daddy, you're not being fair. Fair? I'm not fair. We were this what I just wanted to. Not fair. All right, will you, will you let me get you a cup of coffee? Why? Well, it's nice to discuss things over a cup of coffee. Right, but we're not discussing anything. You mean you're just going to stand there and be stubborn? Wrong. I'm going home. Now, Daddy, wait a minute. No, wait. I just want to talk about this. What's your name? What do you mean? To Marie Brewster, I have nothing to talk about. With Anne-Marie, I'll be a talking encyclopedia. 
You mean if I don't do what you say, you won't talk to me? What's your name? It's... It, it's... Now, Daddy, you really mean that? What's your name? Marie Brewster! Oh, Daddy! Daddy! Give me a chance. Come on. Up with your hands. All right, cut, cut. All right, that's fine. Lunch, one hour, huh? Hey, Dave, I'd like to talk to you about a couple of things. It's very good. Hey, can I buy you lunch, Miss Brewster? Oh, hi. Hi. To tell you the truth, I'm too stage frightened to eat. Now, don't you worry. You're going to be a smash. What did you tell them at the restaurant so they'd let you off? Oh, I did the wildest thing. I told them the truth. It's always the best thing. How long can you stay away? Forever. They fired me. <laughs> well, like I said, the truth is always the best thing. <laughs> Come on. Boy, this is some big break. In one shot, I lost a job and a father. Well, look, are, are you still going up on Saturday? Oh, yeah. My mom's expecting me. Well, suppose I drive you up there. Well, why on earth did you want to let yourself in for that? Well, I, I actually started this name business, and maybe I can talk to him. Besides, you're kind of a special girl. <laughs> you're kind of a special guy. You go see your mom. I'll give it another try. Okay, but don't stand in front of him. He might not stop. Marie, Marie, Mr. Marie, Mr. Marie, could you turn that down for a second? Okay, it's down. Thank you, sir. I stopped to tell you we have nothing to talk about. But we do, sir. Wrong. You don't know her well enough to ask me for a hat. The weather's terrific. Football, I hate. It's too early for baseball. And yes, I think there are people on Mars. <laughs> Mr. Marie, and that I don't want to talk about, Mr. Hollingshead. Oh, no. No, no, no. That's Hollinger. Sorry. Well, that's all right. Everybody makes that mistake. So why don't you change your name? John's a very nice young man, isn't he? Yes, he is. But I don't want to talk about him, Mom. I want to talk about me. Oh, you are between you and your father. I'm just a, an innocent victim. Can I talk to anybody in this family? Have some lemonade. Hmm? Thank you. Look, Mom, you and Daddy raised me well enough to know that I wouldn't intentionally do anything to hurt you or him or anybody, for that matter. We also raised you well enough to want everyone to know we raised you. Everybody knows you raised me. Oh? You think people wouldn't know that Mr. and Mrs. Marie were the parents of uh, Marie Brewster or whoever? Look, Mom, there is something more important than just a name involved here. What? Well, we all decided that I was old enough to live alone and make my own decisions. And even the president asks for advice. Well, so do I. I would like advice. But he gives orders. He makes ultimatums. He shouts. When you think someone's getting too far away to hear, you shout. Well? What do you think of the name Hollinger Toledo? <laughs> you, you see, Anne, I come from Toledo, and we could use my last name for my first name. Boy, he's rough. <laughs> Hello? Hi, it's me. How did the taping go? Oh, fine. Are you coming over to watch the show tonight? No, no, look, I'm sorry I can't. I have to work. But I'll catch it here at the office. Oh. Some debut. No parents, no you. They're not coming? No. My mother said, you know your father. Yeah, I know him all right. Well, Ann, look, you did what was right, and I'm proud of you. Oh, just a minute. Someone's at the door. 
for the star. Oh, how beautiful. Thank you, Matt. I'll see you later. <laughs> Don, you are so sweet. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, they're just beautiful, the flowers. Oh, I'm not so sweet. I didn't send them. Who was sweet? <laughs> oh, listen. Blood is thicker than names. Though you're not forgiven, you're not forgotten. And it's signed your father. The armistice. Now, just a truce. They're addressed to apartment 2C, no names. And listen, why don't you call them? No. You know, I think this really ought to be done in person. Miss Independence is going to go home and watch the show. Can I use your car? We'll be totally independent and take the train. <laughs> I'm using my car. Bye. Bye. It's not your fault. It's this town. And that's why I'm leaving. Oh, they have such problems. And we're one big happy family. What's that? I said we no, have problems, too. I thought I heard something. Anne, darling. <gasps> Uh, Lou, look who's here. Oh, what's her name? <laughs> Thank you for the flowers, Daddy. You're welcome for the flowers. It's such a pleasant surprise. Well, I didn't want to watch my debut all by myself. See? Well, um, what about something to eat? Daddy made some tarts. Raspberry, in honor of the occasion. <laughs> oh, later, Mother. It's just about to start. Huh? If we find him, the jury will decide. So? She told you she's on later. It's a small part, but very important to the plot. You better hurry. This thing needs something. <laughs> Hands up, everybody. This is a stick-up. Okay, keep moving. When I sneezed before, is that when she was on? She told you she's on later. <laughs> when? On the 11 o'clock news? <laughs> oh, there it is. Look, look. He comes over here. What? Okay, everybody, down on the floor. There she is. <laughs> as you're told or you're dead. Please! Oh. You get killed? Yeah. And that's all you're on? Do they at least show your funeral? <laughs> that's all she's on. Well, I said it was a small part. Oh, wait! It's over. I know, but now they'll roll the credits. They'll show your name? Yeah, sure. That thrill I can live without. <laughs> but please, please, and bang, bang, all this aggravation. <laughs> Well, where are you? At the end, at the end. That's your name. Anne-Marie. Lou? Anne-Marie. That's me. They made a mistake? No, they didn't, Pop. But I almost did. Why didn't you tell us? Why should a girl have to tell anyone she's using her own name? <laughs> Get some coffee. Why, uh... Why did you do that? Why'd you send the flowers? Oh, Pop. I wanted to change my name to help me, not to hurt you. But then I realized it was hurting you so much more than it could ever help me. You were very good in that part. It was little, but you were very good. You really think I was good? <laughs> Much better than that Marie Brewster would have been. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's great. Yes, she'll be delighted to hear it. Well, well, I'm expecting her in any moment. I'll tell her. Fine. Thank you. Bye. Oh, hello? Hello? Oh, gosh, he hung up. Who was it? It was about you. You're kidding. You got me another part? No, I got your job back at the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. I'm starting at Macy's in the morning. <laughs> <laughs>